Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and uh, today is uh, World Backup Day, and uh, that means that maybe a little reminder that having a backup of your files, folders, pictures, everything on your computer is super important, and not just your computer today, it also includes everything on your phone, for example. So there are more and more ways to backup today, but of course one of the most and easiest um, way to back up is by using cloud services. Um, when you have your phone on Android, when you have your iPhone, if you have a PC, of course cloud services are nice for that. They often do it automatically. In my case, I use uh, OneDrive since I have a um, Microsoft Office um, subscriber. I um, have one terabyte, so I have the luxury of having everything backed up in the cloud, which is nice. And it's done automatically. It syncs everywhere also, which is nice. Um, and same can apply to your phone. If you're an Android phone, you can do it with uh, Google uh, Drive on uh, using your um, Google account. If you've, um, of course, you've logged into a Google account with Android, you can use OneDrive also on a phone. Um, and backup. Now, the important thing to understand about a backup, and this is the big mistake that most people do, is that you need to back up and keep a copy. That means if you back up on a thumb drive, say you, for example, you use a USB key and backup files on it, don't remove them from the PC. You have to keep them also on the PC. A backup is at least two different places at the same time with the same files. If it's at one place only, um, you know, an external hard drive uh, just in the cloud or just on a USB thumb drive, that's not a backup. That's simply having your files on some device. A backup is really at least two copies and three is even better. Often what they'll say is a copy on your computer, a copy on a device like an external hard drive, and a copy in the cloud, for example. That is three different places. Um, remember that if you have your backup on a hard drive, you might say, well, I got it on the PC and on my external hard drive. You know, how unlucky should I get so that um, I lose all of that? Well, think about maybe uh, a flood, a fire, anything that could happen that destroys the two devices at the same time since they're in the same place, same location. So often we'll say, well, a backup is good if you have also uh, a location which is outside your home, so for example, or your office. So for example, it could be on an external hard drive, it could be on your computer, but it could be on an external hard drive, a second external hard drive that you have at a different location or that you give a friend, you know, just to make sure that you have everything. And, uh, of course, uh, having the cloud services is also very, very good. That's also an outside location, which is nice. But it's very important to backup. People don't understand that backups are necessary. Uh, so many times when I see people say, well, you know, I lost everything after a problem with my Windows updates or my Windows install or or, you know, um, the only one you have to blame is not Microsoft, is you. You didn't back up. You don't have your files anymore. And that is often a problem because people, you know, will rant at, at Microsoft or will rant at the company making whatever software, when in reality, the only rant is you because you're not backing up and you're not taking the time to do so. And it's important to keep that backup up to date to have everything in your um, you know, backup that you add every day, everything you do and so on. So um, having, of course, backups is very important and to keep them up to date is very important also. If you have an external hard drive, uh, one of the backup features that exists within the uh, computer is a uh, system which is um, a uh, file history. Um, that is in the backup uh, of your settings. So if you go into Windows Update or um, Features, so let's go back here, go into your settings, 
you go into update and security, you have backup. There's a feature called uh, file history. File history is nice for a backup also. You put your external hard drive. Once it's there, you had the drive. And there it will actually tell you what drive that you can back up on. And it will say automatically back up my files. And so that is the possibility that you have with file history. Now, that's a way to back up automatically. Everything you change, everything you do will be updated automatically with file history. Um, make sure that you have a big enough hard drive plugged in. But remember that everything that stays plugged into your PC is vulnerable to ransomware attacks. So that's why cloud is nice. That's why having something that is, of course, not plugged in 24 hours that you actually have updated is also a good idea because if you do get ransomware, well, at least these devices that are not online, not plugged into your PC, are not going to get encrypted. So make sure to back up. It's important to do so. Make sure to back up to at least two different places. Even better, three different places, uh, including one off-site, so one outside of your home, your office, or in the cloud that will work. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.